Oscar Piastri makes a strong statement about Red Bull. Verstappen says Piastri should not accept team orders. Lewis Hamilton defended Red Bull. Ralph Schumacher names the best driver. All of this in this video for you. The controversy over Red Bull's secret change in the height of its cars continues. This time, it was McLaren driver Oscar Piastri who spoke out. Piastri stated that if Red Bull has indeed secretly altered the height of the car between qualifying and the race, it represents a clear violation of Formula One regulations. Before the United States Grand Prix in Austin, rumors emerged that a team was using a system to adjust the height of the front part of their car's floor. Shortly after, it was revealed that Red Bull was the team involved. In response, the team confirmed that it was already discussing the situation and committed to making adjustments to its car. Currently, Red Bull is fiercely competing for the title with McLaren, which leads the Constructors' Championship. While exploring the limits of technical regulations is common practice in Formula One, Piastri suggested that Red Bull's approach goes beyond what is acceptable. I didn't know Red Bull had admitted to this, Piastri commented to the press. Honestly, I don't want to get too involved, as I don't know all the details. However, he was direct in assessing the situation. We are all always on the edge of the rules. That's how it works. But from what I've heard, this is not just exploring the regulations. It's a clear breach of them. Lando Norris, Piastri's teammate at McLaren, expressed hope that the discovery of the system could strengthen his team's lead in the championship. Although Norris downplayed the importance of the device, Piastri stated that if confirmed, the arrangement should be declared illegal. I don't know exactly in which car this system was found or if it was really used, Piastri said. But if it's true, we are no longer talking about exploring grey areas of the regulations. It's coming out of the grey area and entering the black area, concluded Piastri. Max Verstappen reignited the debate on team roles by stating that Oscar Piastri is too good to settle for being Lando Norris's wingman in the 2024 title fight. Verstappen made it clear that in his place, he would never accept a subordinate position, even acknowledging that he has never faced a similar situation in his career. As the season progressed, McLaren established itself as the most competitive team, surpassing Red Bull in the Constructors' title race. In recent stages, the Woking team has taken the lead in the championship, while Norris is approaching the chance to end Verstappen's dominance among drivers. With six races remaining in the season, the Briton continues to pursue with a 52-point deficit. While McLaren has insisted that its drivers compete on equal terms, the growing possibility of an unprecedented title for Norris has led the team to strategically prioritize him in critical situations. In an interview with Motorsport, Verstappen emphasized that, in his view, Piastri should not settle for being a second driver. He is definitely not a number two, and if I were him, I wouldn't accept that condition, the Dutchman declared. I say this with the experience of being in Formula One for a decade, but I know that for Oscar, in his second season, it's harder to set limits. However, he is an incredible talent and shouldn't sacrifice wins and positions for team orders. Verstappen's remarks spark discussions about the dynamics between drivers and team strategies, raising the question, is this an honest opinion or just more fuel for tensions in the season's final stretch. Lewis Hamilton defended Red Bull after the team was accused of using an innovative trick that was deemed illegal by the International Automobile Federation. The incident sparked controversy ahead of the United States Grand Prix in Austin. According to reports, Formula One was investigating a supposed irregularity involving a device that allowed for the angle of the T-tray, an essential part of the car's aerodynamics, to be altered while the vehicle was in Parc Fermé between qualifying and the race. If proven, this could lead to significant performance gains. 
Red Bull confirmed it was the team at the center of the investigations, but emphasized that the device was not operated by the drivers and that once the car was assembled, it would no longer be accessible. Verstappen dismissed the claims that the solution provided relevant advantages. However, it was Hamilton's unexpected defense that caught attention. I only found out about this now, before arriving here, Hamilton revealed in an interview with Sky Sports. But the truth is that our sport revolves around innovation. Red Bull has led this aspect, and at the end of the day, all teams try to exploit loopholes in the rules to gain advantages, even if sometimes this goes a bit beyond the limit. Hamilton also acknowledged the importance of stricter oversight, but praised Red Bull's ability to stay at the forefront. A statement has already been issued about the case, but the truth is that innovation needs to continue, and policing must also be improved. Who knows how long they've been using this and winning championships? Maybe that stops now? Finally, Hamilton pointed out that while the restriction of the device could impact Red Bull, the secret to success is not limited to this kind of trickery. I don't think this is the only factor that will interrupt their dominance. Other teams need to stop just trying to catch up and start truly innovating, leading with new ideas. Hamilton's remarks demonstrate a rare mix of sportsmanship and pragmatism, recognizing both the genius behind Red Bull and the need for all teams to continue evolving to remain competitive. Ralph Schumacher stated that Lewis Hamilton is light years away from matching the legacy of his brother, Michael Schumacher, in Formula One. According to Ralph, Hamilton does not come close to the impact left by the legendary German driver. Moreover, he believes Verstappen has more talent than the Brit and May in the future surpass his achievements. Hamilton and Verstappen's success in recent years has placed them among the greatest drivers in history, alongside names like Michael Schumacher and Ayrton Senna. However, Ralph made it clear that in his view, his brother's legacy will remain untouchable. For him, Hamilton's recent struggles with Mercedes show that he is not invincible. Not even Lewis Hamilton will come close to Michael. Not even light years, in my opinion, Ralph said. We thought Hamilton could walk on water, but he couldn't. Verstappen, although young in terms of talent, can go further than Lewis. He also highlighted that being in the right place at the right time was crucial to his brother's success. Michael won five consecutive titles during one of the most dominant phases in Formula One history. Michael made the difference, but he also had the luck to be where he needed to be at the right time, Ralph added. Ralph Schumacher's statements once again raise the question of what is necessary to be considered one of the greatest drivers of all time, highlighting not only talent and achievements, but also the importance of being in the right place at the right time.